Hello and welcome back to my YouTube channel, Elegant Epic Essence. Today we're delving into a fascinating journey through time to explore the fashion icons of the Gilded Age, influences of the 19th century. Envision a time when your attire was a gateway to societal status. This was the Gilded Age. Edith Wharton, capturing the spirit of this era, once mused, in a period of gross materialism, a frenzy of getting on, what could be more natural than a demand for more sumptuous clothing? Her words deftly paint the landscape of an epoch, spanning the 1870s to the early 1900s in American history. A time of dazzling opulence, shadowed by stark social inequalities, shaped by the juggernauts of rapid industrialization and immense economic growth. In the Gilded Age, the United States, flush with newfound wealth and inspired by European aristocracy, forged a distinct path in the world of haute couture. Fashion transcended its functional roots, morphing into a potent symbol of status and ambition, reflecting not just personal taste, but echoing the era's broader societal shifts, technological leaps, and cultural vibrancy. This period marked the rise of the original fashion influencers. Decades before social media platforms and global fashion weeks, these were the trendsetters of high society, whose choices in attire rippled through the social hierarchy, even leaving their imprint on European fashion. Their influence was more than just superficial. It was a barometer for the societal transformation of the age. These influencers were not just arbiters of style, but navigators of a world in flux. They wielded fashion as a tool for expression and as a testament to their role in an evolving social landscape. In the forthcoming chapters, we will journey through the transformative role of these influencers, the interplay between technological innovation and style, and how the echoes of Gilded Age fashion continue to resonate in our contemporary world. This exploration into Gilded Age fashion is not just about the clothes people wore, but a deeper inquiry into how these styles wove into the very fabric of society, leaving a legacy that endures. Description of the general fashion trends of the era. For women, the Gilded Age was a time of elaborate gowns, intricate details, and pronounced silhouettes. The early part of the era saw the popularity of the bustle, a device used to add volume to the back of dresses, creating a distinctive S-shaped silhouette. Caroline Astor, a prominent figure of New York high society, was often seen in such gowns, embodying the era's penchant for extravagance. Skirts were layered and often adorned with frills, lace and floral motifs. The latter part of the era saw a shift towards the Gibson girl look, characterised by a more natural waistline and flowing skirts. Corsets were a staple, used to cinch the waist and emphasise an hourglass figure. The use of rich fabrics like silk, velvet and satin, often in vibrant colours, was common. Accessories like gloves, hats and parasols played a significant role in completing the look. Men's fashion, while less ornate, was equally refined. The sack suit became popular, a looser fitting garment compared to the previously favoured frock coats. Trousers, waistcoats and bow ties were staples in a gentleman's wardrobe. Evening wear often included tailcoats and top hats. For both men and women, fashion was a display of wealth and elegance, with attention to detail and quality being paramount. The role of societal changes in shaping fashion. The societal changes of the Gilded Age played a crucial role in shaping these fashion trends. The era's unprecedented economic growth led to the rise of a new class of wealthy industrialists and financiers. This nouveau riche, eager to display their newfound status, embraced fashion as a means of asserting their place in society. They looked to the established European aristocracy for inspiration, often adopting and adapting their styles. A quote from Edith Wharton's novel, The Age of Innocence, captures this sentiment. It was the time of year when New York is a blaze of light, its pavements crowded with eager purchasers and its shops brilliant with fine wares. The growth of urban centres and advancements in technology, such as the sewing machine, also influenced fashion. The mass production of garments became possible, making fashion more accessible to the growing middle class, 
The expansion of department stores and fashion magazines further democratized fashion, allowing trends set by the elite to permeate through society. Women's fashion in particular was influenced by the changing roles of women in society. The late 19th century saw the beginnings of the women's suffrage movement and a gradual shift in women's societal roles. This change began to reflect in fashion as well, with a move towards slightly more practical and comfortable clothing, setting the stage for the major fashion revolutions of the early 20th century. Key Fashion Icons of the Gilded Age The fashion landscape of the Gilded Age was significantly influenced by a few remarkable figures, each leaving an indelible mark on the era's style. These icons not only set trends, but also epitomize the societal shifts and opulence of their time. Caroline Astor, the reigning queen of New York society. Caroline Astor, often referred to as Mrs. Astor, was the epitome of American high society elegance. An iconic outfit of hers, worn at one of her famed balls, was a lavish gown designed by Charles Frederick Worth. This masterpiece featured a rich, deep blue silk, adorned with intricate lace and velvet trimmings. The bodice, tightly corseted, showcased the era's favoured hourglass figure, while the bustle accentuated a dramatic silhouette. Her attire, often completed with diamond tiaras and exquisite jewellery, set the standard for high society fashion. Jenny Jerome Churchill, the transatlantic fashion influencer. Jenny. Jerome Churchill, an American socialite in British society, was renowned for her chic and sophisticated style. One of her most celebrated outfits was a dinner gown that seamlessly blended American audacity with British elegance. The dress, a creation of Parisian design, featured a sumptuous velvet skirt paired with an intricately embroidered gold bodice. The high neck and long sleeves were typical of the period, while the fit and flare silhouette highlighted her svelte figure. Her style was a masterful mix of boldness and traditional elegance, making her a fashion icon on both sides of the Atlantic. Consuelo Vanderbilt, the American duchess with a flair for European elegance. Consuelo Vanderbilt, an American heiress who married into British nobility, was a symbol of the fusion of American wealth with European aristocracy. Her most iconic outfit was her wedding gown. Designed by the House of Worth, the dress was a marvel of the period's haute couture. It featured a long flowing train, made from white silk and adorned with intricate lace and pearls. The high collar and tight sleeves were in line with the modesty of the era, while the use of luxurious fabrics and embellishments reflected her status. This gown set a trend for bridal fashion in both America and Europe. Other fashion icons of the Gilded Age included Alva Vanderbilt, Known for her avant-garde fashion sense, one of her standout outfits was a costume for a ball, designed as a Venetian Renaissance gown, complete with luxurious velvet and intricate gold embroidery, Lily Langtree. A trendsetter known for her stage costumes, including a stunning evening dress with a low neckline, draped in sheer fabrics and adorned with sparkling jewels. During the Gilded Age in the United States, fashion was heavily influenced by European trends, particularly from Paris and London. Paris, as the centre of haute couture, impacted American style through designers like Charles Frederick Worth. His opulent designs, adorned with intricate details, were favoured by American socialites such as Caroline Astor. In London, men's fashion, especially in tailoring and formal wear, was influential. Savile Row's bespoke tailoring was highly sought after by wealthy Americans, exemplified by figures like John D. Rockefeller. European royalty also influenced American fashion, seen in the styles adopted by figures like Consuelo Vanderbilt. American elites often adapted these European trends, making them less constrictive and more suitable for American climates and social events. This cultural exchange during the Gilded Age led to a unique blend of European elegance and American practicality, creating a distinctive and sophisticated American fashion style. As our exploration of Gilded Age fashion concludes, we are left with a vivid image of an era marked by opulence, innovation and transformation.
The Gilded Age was more than just a period of extravagant styles and high society trends. It was a time when fashion became a powerful tool for expressing identity, status and aspirations. The fashion icons of this era, from Caroline Astor to Consuelo Vanderbilt, were not just trendsetters, but also symbols of the societal changes that America was undergoing. Their influence extended beyond their immediate social circles, setting trends that would echo through the ages. They were the bridge between the old world and the new, melding European elegance with American individualism to create styles that were as unique as they were influential. Thank you for watching our video. To explore more captivating historical documentaries, we invite you to subscribe to Elegant Epic Essence, where history comes to life.